Welcome to Jay and Laura TV. We are Jay and Laura LaFoon here to answer your questions about marriage and relationships. And I'm really impressed because it is December 10th. And we have a man asking us, how do I find the perfect gift for my spouse? So first of all, kudos to you, sir, because it is not December 24th and you're thinking about a gift for your wife for Christmas. So I am very impressed. I do think lots of times we stress too much about gifts, finding that perfect gift for my spouse. Something that I, and I think about it all the time because gifts is my love language. I mean, I'm thinking about when I'm out shopping, even in the middle of summer, I go, oh, wouldn't so-and-so love that for Christmas? Um, but that's just because that's who I am. But think about the person you're buying the gift for. What are their, what are their hobbies? What do they enjoy doing? You know, if they, if they enjoy cooking, maybe a great gift. Again, I think, I think out of the box. No, I wasn't going to say that. I was saying, you know, a a holder for their iPad because a lot of people use their recipes and stuff now on iPads oh, and stuff like that. Pinterest. If your husband enjoys driving car, like racing and watching, the maybe give him a date at the races. Um, but thinking about what they really enjoy, what they love, or maybe what they don't love. This was what happened to me very early on in our marriage when I got the best Christmas gift I've ever gotten. Because what happened was Jay thought about what I don't love and what I don't love is to clean bathrooms. It just makes me gag. Especially when you have a little three-year-old <laughs> boy at home who is not quite good with the aim yet. So Jay got me, for Christmas that year, he made a little coupon book that said on it, I will clean your bathrooms for a, a year. So I had a little coupon. Every time I didn't want to clean a bathroom, I could give him and he would go clean the bathroom. So again, think about what your spouse loves. one year loves. Though. <laughs> Yeah, that's all we did it for. Think about what your spouse loves, what their hobbies are, and kind of... You know, with the with the advent of Facebook and all this stuff, just the other day I saw this thing um, on Facebook called Man Crates, and it's supposed to be the best place to go buy gifts for the man in your life. Ah. So there's all kinds of places that you can look for unique gifts. Right, and and because uh, Laura and her love language is gifts, I've really made it a, a, a special okay. effort as often as I can to really think about what is it that she's going to want. Um, obviously it has to fit within the budget. Obviously we're not gonna go do something you know, uh, financially stupid, but what can I afford and, and get her? And I'll never forget uh, one year I had um, a uh, specially made um, armoire uh, uh, jewelry, jewelry holder. holder. <laughs> Cause I'd spent so many years buying her jewelry for Christmas <laughs> and she didn't have a big enough jewelry box. So we got it custom made and it matches our other furniture perfectly. And unfortunately it didn't arrive by Christmas. So I shot a picture and put that in the uh, under the tree and uh, but it was the thought that I would would actually go to that length to get something done. Well, and I can remember one year I surprised him. I he uh, he's a very good gift giver, but he doesn't like to be given gifts, but I just happened to be at a local frame shop before Christmas and they had a picture of the 16th hole at Augusta National. 12. 12th, whatever the pretty one is with the azaleas. 13. I don't know. But it was a gorgeous picture. Perfect. It was a great Perfect. price. It wasn't expensive. And so I bought it and surprised him with it and it hangs in our family room today so That's right. you know don't stress about it just start thinking and contemplating about your spouse hey we are jay and laura lafoon here to answer your questions about marriage and relationships we'll see you next week